This is supply and demand 101, support and resistance. This is where technical analysis begins. So here, to reiterate, these are the support levels below the market. Those are the buying, overwhelming, the selling. Resistance is the exact opposite. This is overhead supply above the market where the amount of selling overwhelms the buying. Now, what we want to focus on here is that once one is complete, it turns into the other one. And that's what we call polarity. Polarity is when resistance turns into support. Let's start with resistance. Here, we're looking at a stock where every time it runs into this level, it sells off. Okay? Why is it selling off? Because there are more sellers than buyers at this particular level identified by the red line. So every time prices reach that level, there's an overwhelming amount of supply and prices fall. Now, the more times that a level is tested, the higher the likelihood that it's going to break. And the reason is very simple, because anybody willing to sell the stock at that level, eventually they've already done so and there simply aren't any sellers left. And that's when prices break out above former resistance. So by prices getting above that overhead supply, this is the market suggesting to us that where there were more sellers than buyers, where there was resistance, this has now changed. And now the buyers control the market at that specific price. That's what the market is telling us after we get that breakout. So when we return to that level, we talked about kickbacks when it came to trend lines. This is the exact same thing. When we return to that level, the market has already shown us that there are more buyers than sellers at that level, which is a change from previous experiences. So when we return to that former level of resistance, it turns into support because where there were more sellers than buyers, that has now changed. There's more demand than supply, and that gets reiterated on the kickback. That's what we call polarity, resistance turning into support. And it works the same way when you flip it upside down. Former support also turns into resistance, and the psychology is exactly the same. So let's call this level support. Every time the market gets down to this level, it bounces. Gets down to this level, bounces. Gets down to this level, bounces. Why? Because there are more buyers than sellers. There is support at this level where the buyers are clearly in control. Then ultimately, the more times that a level is tested, the higher the likelihood that it's going to break, and eventually it does break. That breakdown below support is the market signaling to us that where there were more buyers and sellers, where there was more demand than supply, it's now the opposite. Now, there's an overwhelming amount of supply relative to demand at that same level. The market is proving to us, right? It's not an opinion. This is a fact that sellers are now in control at that level. So when we do get that kickback to former support, that turns into resistance as the market already showed us there's an overwhelming amount of supply relative to demand. Again, that's polarity 101. 